Hey there, soulmates. It's your girl, Her Souls underscore 23. And yesterday I was doing a little project. I've been meaning to do this for a couple of weeks now. What I want to do is I want to take my regular gray NMD and turn it into this. Well, I actually did this shoe last night. This is the Uncaged NMD and these 3M gray rope laces from Lace Lab. I want to make my shoe look a little bit different. And this is what I did last night. So I want to show you guys the process and what I used. Uh, by no means am I a professional. I was even thinking to myself, if I ruined the shoe, oh well. <laughs> That's just my money down the drain. But I wanted to do something different. So let me show you guys what I used. I basically just used a pin to mark off on the shoe where I wanted to put the holes at. Of course, the other shoe string from Lace Lab. This right here is a seam ripper. It helps you get the cage and the seams off easier. I got this off Amazon. And last but not least, I bought a power soldering iron from Amazon as well to get this job done. So what I'm gonna do now, you guys uh, bear with me, the video is gonna be kind of long. Um, some things I'm gonna go step by step with, but in other things I'm gonna speed the video up so you guys won't be here longer. So hopefully you enjoy this. Let's get into it. Okay guys, all I'm gonna do now is take the shoestrings out of here. I'm probably going to speed this up. Like I said, some parts of the video, I'm going to speed up. Other parts of you don't hear my voice. Just kind of pay attention to what I'm doing and enjoy the music if I put any music in the video. Okay, so the shoe strings are out. On the inside of here, you guys see I have a shoe tree. So let's get into it. This is my first time doing this, like I said. This is the, the same ripper. And let's see how this goes on camera. So what you want to do is grab this part of the shoe, if you guys can see, you can kind of see the seams right there. You put this here, in between there, if it wants to go, maybe it's the other way. And then you just, basically you give it a little push. And as you guys can see, it's going to start to come up. Kind of really seamless. And there you go. Look at that, looks like if nothing ever was there. So let's go to the other side, pull this up as well. Maybe I should have got a little bit closer with the camera, let's see. Zoom in a little bit more. So you can see me taking the seam off. Okay. You put it between there again, like I said. And then as you can see, it just basically <laughs> this side is one of that crazy it didn't. I'm gonna show you what it did. I grabbed it too high up. This happened on my other one. Now this came off, but it left this. But it's still easy, you guys, don't worry. You can get a spot and be able to pull it up with your fingers and get it on there. Then, okay, this side, I wanna, this side I wanna show off. So we're gonna come from this way. We're gonna grab it. And then just keep going down. And voila. These extra few strings, you just pull these loose when you have time. But this is way it looks uncaged. This side, like I said, this was much seamless. This side over here want to be acting like a Billy, a Billy bad Billy gun. But it came out decently. So okay, now let's zoom back out. Zoom back out, son. Zoom out, camera. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the pin. This is gonna be hard because uh, basically wherever you put the holes at, you, you basically, you're basically guessing or whatever way you want your shoes to be laced. It doesn't exactly have to be like mine's. When I get off camera, I'm gonna clean that up a little bit, but I'm gonna try to make it exactly like I have this over here.
Hey there soulmates, I'm back. My rude camera cut off of me. So I just wanted to show you guys a quick product. This is the way the shoe came out. I think it came out pretty cool for our first time. I am not a professional, but let me tell you some, you guys something that I did mess up on, I will bring to your attention. This shoe was much easier to do yesterday um, because I wasn't in front of the camera. This one was a lot harder to do. And every time you guys saw me with the soldering iron going back in the holes, that's because the hole wasn't big enough to pull the shoestring through. I always start off with a smaller hole and just make it bigger as I go so the shoestring better fit to. But I'm going to show you something, you guys, something real quick. Let me swing the box this way. You see you have one, two, three outside holes here. And the mistake I did was I made one, two, three, four holes on the outside, which means I had to lace the shoe differently. So this is how the lace is, how it is laced differently. I like this lace job and I like this lace job as well. And there's one thing that I may do to the shoe. Either I'm gonna put another hole on each side of here to replicate this, or I'm going to do this and I'm gonna do it really quickly on camera for you guys to be able to see. I'm gonna pull the shoe strings out of here. Instead of having this hole on the side there looking ugly, I'm gonna leave these two holes right here open. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shoe string and I'm gonna take it over, flip it over like you, like, you know, usual, go across. And then I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna go across. And then of course you come inside to, so this can come, so this could be outside on your shoestring. And then pull this one out. This is if a person wants to tie their shoe. The first slip could be for a person who doesn't want to tie their shoe. And the way I had this adjusted last time, you guys, you will not be able to trust me. I had the shoes on and I wore them around. And uh, I'm not going to be able to get it probably the way I want it right now. So to tie it a little bit tighter to get that. And if you see that there, you are not going to be able to see those holes right there. So they will be covered up if I decide to go with this look. But once again, you guys, this is my quick look. I'm going to show you the unfeet. And I hope you guys like my project. Peace.